Styling Project Day 2. Let's get after it. I wanted to catch this on video for everybody. Uh, Prince does not want Wilma to walk over to that glass panel where the guys are working. <laughs> And uh, I don't know if he's going to do it on camera because he can hear me talk. What he's been doing is he's been going to Wilma and blocking her and leaning on her, which Doberman's doing. Look, he's doing it to me. See how he's leaning into my legs? That's a Doberman trait. He's actually pushing. I mean, you can see that he's leaning against me. And uh, he's probably doing it to me right now because uh, he protects me um, over Wilma for whatever reason. You know, they say Dobermans are a one-person dog, but see how he's going in between? Let's see if you see him leaning. Uh, he just did it, but he stopped. But he wants to get between the workers and us, and he's been doing it all morning. I mean, we've just been sitting here drinking coffee, and uh, <laughs> every time Wilma gets up, and uh, he was really leaning on her right here a minute ago, and I ran to get the uh, camera, and then when he seen me move, he, uh, he followed me. But you see how he just laid down? I'll see, well, Fulma moves, see if he moves. He just works very hard. Now he was growling earlier too. He was sitting there growling at the guys when they were working right here. Um, but again, every time we come over here, he uh, makes a point of coming over and getting in between. So he's just, he's just protective. Right, Prince? Are you protecting mommy? You protecting mommy today? Were you leaning on mommy? I mean, he leans so hard on Wilma that she actually uh, gets knocked back sometimes. <laughs> Let's see if he'll do it with me. He's always working. He's always patrolling. He's always protecting. I mean, a lot of dogs would, you know, be in the home and, you know, you bring them in the house and they find their favorite spot and lay down and not move. Not a Doberman. Wherever uh, we go, he goes. And he always puts his body in, uh, in between. Um, well, I guess he's leaning hard on you now. <laughs> what a good boy. He has to be in front of me or inside yeah. of me. Yeah. Yeah. And he's pushing on you a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So the guys are uh, doing good. They did get down to here um, before they left. So I think they laid 56 tile uh, yesterday. And they got a late start because uh, they didn't get here to 830 uh, because it was day one. They started eight. And uh, I think it was about 45 minutes before the first tile went down. So what is that about 915? But they were here about quarter to eight today, and they had the first tile down like 8.15. So they're, they're rocking. So they're going to get, like I said yesterday, they're going to get the two-meter overhang completed. Um, and then they'll start working on the, uh, on the steps. We did take another trip to City Hardware last night, right? Yes. <laughs> Late at night. They closed at 7. We got there at 6.15. Uh, we got a bunch more tile. We got enough, uh, I think, to do the carport. Uh, so they're gonna uh, when they're done here, they'll go to the carport, but they'll be busy because they still got to grout and they have to do the uh, do the steps. <clears throat> I don't know if you can see through the screen. Let me go here through the glass. Looks like it's gonna rain. I think it may, so we'll see. I think they said uh, around midday, noontime, uh, that we were gonna get some showers, but nothing major. So we'll see what happens. So good news is. Uh, They'll be under the overhang, so it won't slow uh, slow them down a bit. So he's still standing there. Yeah, he's still pushing me. <laughs> he do not want me to get closer to them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, today's his birthday. Oh yeah, July fourth. Yeah. Today, yeah. One year birthday. We're gonna do a, vi a whole video just on Prince. I mean, he's Happy just birthday, an amazing dog. He's very protective, but yet when we invite people up and you introduce him to the person, he's absolutely fine. But then uh, when we leave the property, he goes in protection mode, 
And, uh, you know, we feel bad for him because we watch him on camera and he's running around and, you know, barking and just trying to protect the property. But uh, he's a good boy, so we'll do a video on him. So we're doing good. It's looking, it's looking nice. We still got to grout it, still got to clean it up. But uh, I think it's a good project. All right, day two of our tiling uh, project. It rained about two, three hours today. Been cloudy basically all day, uh, but it's been cool. So it's been good for the guys. So uh, a lot happening and we made some changes. So changes is good. So I'm gonna go over the changes with you real quick. So this is what they did yesterday. They did 56 tile and uh, they're wrapping up. So at the end of day two, we said we were gonna have the two meter overhang completed. Looks like uh, they're gonna have it with a little to spare. We'll probably have another uh, maybe 45 minutes uh, for either clean up or maybe they'll start working on the uh, steps. But it's looking good, right? So we've made a couple changes. So Wilma and I have been out here. We really like this tile because uh, not only does it have a nice grip, it has uh, like, a, like a clear coat over it. So we really think it's gonna clean up nice. So we've been sitting here uh, with the guys and uh, we made an executive decision today. <laughs> so you guys know uh, the other color, the other pattern. And we were sitting here talking and we said, okay, White House, one type of tile. We're leaving this here for accent and then we're gonna leave Again, the uh, gray on the sides for accent. Plus, I don't want to have the same color tile, same color tile, same color tile, because that's like a trip hazard. So it's like it's nice having a contrast on the rise. Um, so um, the fact that this uh, type of paint is, uh, you know, does hold up as long as Prince doesn't uh, step on it. <laughs> and I have um, another gallon of this. So we can power wash this and touch up if we need to. So we're sitting here talking and we're saying tile, gray. So that's two colors. A third color with that white design in it. So that's three colors. Tile the pool, four colors. So we're sitting here saying, I think we're going to have too many colors. So the executive decision is going to be we're gonna use this tile around the pool. So we just lay two out. So there's two of them there. So it'll be this pattern, then this all the way across, gray as accent, and then the same color tile there. So that's the decision that we made and we're sticking with it. And the good news is we always have to think about being in stock. They have a ton of this, all the same lot. Because we went back last night at 7 p.m. <laughs> just before City Hardware closed and picked up another 25 boxes. And I did the math, 25 boxes of this tile and 12 bags of the uh, cement or the mortar mix is uh, 2,100 pounds. So the truck can hold uh, you know, 2,000 pounds without a problem. So we're right there with the weight. So guess what we're doing this afternoon? Picking up more tiles. Yeah, we're gonna go back and get another 25 boxes because uh you know you hear that happening too oh we got plenty of the tile and then uh, you go there oh somebody just bought it out of stock so we're going to go ahead and grab another 25 boxes so that's going to be 75 boxes of tile over the last three days but i think that's going to really blend the colors and not have four different colors here we'll just have three then we just made another executive decision Big one. That's a big decision. Yeah. And this is because of commenters from you guys, the viewers, subscribers, or maybe you're not subscribed, maybe you're just a viewer. But you guys have been really talking to us about, you know, how we're going to close off the dirty kitchen. And we talked about hollow block. We talked about doing it with metal studs and uh, cement board, which we really don't like. And somebody was like, what about uh, folding panels? or you know some other type of uh, way. So we're sitting here saying, why don't we 
just get another one of these. Why don't we just take the two window PVC slider with a screen? Uh, because you guys were talking in your comments and some uh, Facebook Messenger posts that when we close that off with hollow block, just put a window, you know, a small window like this and a door, you know, you're going to have to put a screen there. And then when we're cooking, you know, it's going to create smoke. And, you know, now we'll be able to open this up. So very large panel. So believe it or not, this is almost the right size because uh, we just did the measurements. So um, this is three meters high. So we'll just duplicate that back there. And this is 330 meters, or 330 cm across, 3.3 meters. And the opening back here is 290 meters. So it's a little smaller. So the opening back here is just a little smaller. So what we're going to do is that window that you just seen, PVC, has its own lock. We're going to go ahead and put it right here in this opening. So we're going to have to get the tile down because they need the exact measurement. So this is 290 uh, cm across from this column to the wall. So they'll come out and measure. Um, and then we're going to have to have the tile in place. And then it'll be three meters high because that's how high uh, the windows are or the sliders are. Uh, in both bedrooms, 300 uh, or three meters high. So we'll do the same, same thing, 300 meters high, uh, CM high. And the only thing is we're going to have to have a beam here. So that's really not a problem. Plate, plate, uh, four inch steel, um, and we'll just carriage bolt it in and uh, create that top support. And we'll paint it because it'll be steel. Um, right at the three meter height and then it'll be able to be uh, screwed into the concrete and through the tile which J marketing does with the install and then we have concrete here get bolted in same thing here bolted in so it'll be very secure and we won't have to worry about me hauling up a bunch of hollow blocks and then you got to have cement so you got to buy cement, then you got to buy the sand so that we're going to have to have that delivered out by the gate outside the property and then have them mix it all up. And then the rebar, all the horizontal uh, rebar going this way and all the vertical. And then we'd have to have a door frame and a door and a screen and a window that J Marketing, J Marketing would be doing anyway. So doing all of that, uh, we figured it would be just easier just to get J marketing up here. I already did the measurements. So I'll go down there and talk to them. They know us and it will be a PVC style and it comes with a screen. So we'll be able to have a fixed panel here. And then just like in the bedroom, it'll slide this way. And then we can slide the screen over to get airflow. And then we can close the glass and lock it. So it's just about keeping the dust and the debris uh, from blowing in here. And then the ceiling uh, will go a long way as well because you can see daylight there. Now, no water comes in uh, because of the overhang, but definitely dust comes through there. So we got to get the ceiling in. We got to get the beam across and get uh, J Marketing here and we'll make it happen. So again, that opening right there is just a little bit smaller by about 40 cm so that's not much looks like a foot and a half so it's almost the same uh, same size as this fixed panel slider with screen with two windows fixed atop we'll probably do the same type of tent so it gives a little bit of uh, privacy as well as uh, you know, not allowing to, the sun to get in and just consistency. And there's really no sun back there. Um, but again, it's just a light tent. So just to keep it consistent. And we're going to go ahead and get a, a price from J Marketing and have them come up and install it. 
So we'll see what the time frame uh, is for that. So end of day two, there you have it. You guys are doing great. How many tiles have we got to go up here? So one, two, three, four, and then three cuts. Yeah, and we'll have it have it done. What's up, Disco? Disco. <laughs> uh, we found out today that Disco is available, right? He's now single. He's single, ready to mingle. Single, ready to mingle. So yeah, he uh, he said that he's no longer with his girlfriend, and he's uh, he's available. <laughs> so what do you think? Definitely needs cleanup. Definitely needs uh, some grout. And uh, we have a gray grout, so very similar to this, this color will be the grout, just for a little consistency. And then once the guys grout it, I'll come in and seal it, uh, which I've done uh, in most of the house, but I'll seal this uh, because that'll help with uh, Prince's footsteps as well. So Prince, today is your birthday. You're one year old today, so we gave him a nice snack today, and I will take him with us when we go get the tile. But he hates being tied up. He doesn't like it at all. <laughs> you can see his head's down a little bit. But happy birthday, Prince. We got something in your eye, Prince. Look at that face. That's a face everybody can love. What a good boy. So happy birthday, boy. One year old. So uh, in human age, that's what, 15? 15 years old? So you're 15. You're a teenager. He hates being tied. He's so used to just running, uh, running free. So that's it for day two of our tiling project. And I'll talk to you guys later.